Hey guys, what's going on? My name is the Midnight Guardians, and today you join me on Mars while we are doing our exotic quest bounty for the exotic sword, I believe. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be questioning how the hell do you gather these materials? Like, if you understand, you've got to get 100 void ability kills, and then you've got to gather materials free of 10. Well, I've collected free of 10. So, basically, what you want to keep doing is this is for the void sword so don't do this quite don't do this method for other materials because it depends on what materials you bought your sword with so i believe arc edge is spirit bloom fire might be spin metal or that might be the other way around and basically that's how it works but this literally works for every patrol mission i've tested it out for all it works on the cosmodrome works on venus and stuff like that so basically what you want to keep doing is you want to come to the scablands basically this is the second area straight off spawn don't go through the tunnel where like there's like a broken down thingy bob and all that it'll just basically take you to the wrong area but you want to just turn once you come off spawn you just want to come to the right and just keep following that right until you hit this area with the giant base and stuff like that be noted that sometimes like um taken corrupt in the area and like public events will glitch out and will stop you from farming it but you can literally just find another piece of relic iron and just keep farming that one afterwards so yeah but yeah it's literally look at the draw draw drop like yeah literally just have to get 100% void ability kills and then have to collect rare materials which you'll get just randomly from farming the spin metal and the uh element that you used for your sword so like relic iron spin metal spirit bloom whatever it is so void edge is definitely relic iron i believe i don't know if you can get it out of chests this is the fastest method to do it because either you can literally just do it on patrol where you get like you can farm two at a time i'm not too sure if you can farm two at a time but i'm just farming one just to be safe but you literally just do this, you just keep going backwards and forwards until you get to the area where it says like, new area, like Giants Pass, and then you turn it straight back, and you go straight towards that place that you just were farming at, and it should just give you it constantly. So, there we go, reach Giants Pass, now go back to Scablands, and it should be back there again. <clears throat> so yeah this a lot of people haven't been covering this i'm surprised no one really has this quest yet which uh is quite surprising but yeah <laughs> i guess that's how it works so yep you just want to keep doing this and just keep farming i know you're probably thinking it's not dropping a lot and that's where it gets annoying because it doesn't drop a lot that's why it's 10 <laughs> if it was 100 I think they should increase the drop rate a bit more, but it's 10. You've just got to rely on look of the drop draws. So there you go. But other than that, a lot of people probably might be asking, do I have to set my day and time? Do, does people like interfere in coming in the world, glitch it out? Not currently. I think only just public events and the taken consuming the land glitches it out. But other than that, that's basically it. And I think if a person maybe picks up the same relic iron you're using can sometimes glitch it out because he's going to be in the area where he just picked up that relic iron. So if you are on patrol with your friends, make sure they don't pick up the relic iron. Just saying. There you go. Relic iron collected. You're going to have to keep doing this constantly. I know <laughs> a lot of people who've been playing this day game since day one understand the struggle of going to patrol and having to grind that relic iron without the possibility of buying it and it was just torture it honestly was just torture but yeah now you can buy material exchange stuff it's pretty useful now but yeah you just want to keep doing this um and you should get it sometime like I said, sometimes public events and stuff can interfere and it can be a bit annoying. So just literally all you have to do is find the next piece of relic iron and just farm the shit out of that one as well. Yep, like Sean, it disappeared. So literally all you need to do is go over here, pick up this relic iron. See, you get a relic crystal. That is the rare material you need to collect. You need to keep farming and farming and farming. 
that's how you get it guys there's no simple way to it I understand but this is the easiest possible way to do it and it literally will just keep spawning and spawning and spawning in that same area until public event or taking corrupt in the area will glitch out or if the person in the area collects it it will time out because he's still in the area and it's going to time out for him but other than that that is simply how you collect the rare materials for your exotic sword quest if you're wondering how you get this i believe you have to get your sword to past 280 past 290 possibly <clears throat> and um yeah that's how it basically it works you need to get your sword either past 280 or 290 i'm not 100 percent sure but I believe that's how it works, and you just gotta keep doing that. Just keep constantly collecting that relic iron, keep going back to the giant's pass, and then keep going back to the scablands. That's literally the easiest and fastest way possible way to do it. If you try and do it on patrol, where you're literally just going from area to area scavenging, it's gonna take you ages. Because, again, it's luck of the chance drought there's gonna be relic iron in that certain area. And then once you've collected all the relic iron, you have to the next area, which might not even have relic iron in that area. So I understand it's a bit annoying for some people, but this is literally the fastest way to literally just get relic iron. Like simply the fastest way to get relic iron. Is to just constantly keep collecting this. Yep, there we go. It's eaten, it's glitched out for us. But luckily, there is one right next to that door, which I'm going to grab. If it's still there, yes, there we go, baby. Right, pick this bad boy up. And then instantly get on your sparrow and hop back to the Giant's Pass. <clears throat> so, yep. This is literally all you do. I'm sorry if the quality of this video is a bit crap, but... I literally just found this out and I just want to let you guys know, because not many people have been covering it. There's been a few videos... But maybe just one or two but this is literally how you gather them a lot of people haven't talked in the videos they've just shown gameplay and a lot of people like how, how how long do you have to do this do you just get it instantly and that's not the case you literally have to keep farming and farming until it spawns it is again rng like all things in this game annoyingly i've been wanting the hereafter for quite some time i've been wanting the helmet that gives me instant shade step my hunter but luckily not a single thing. I will also also be doing how to grind, well, how to farm exotic engrams as well. I know a lot of people been doing that because who the hell does want free exotic engrams? I don't know. But literally, this is how you do it. And as shown, because the taking them in the area, it'll glitch it out. This guy's obviously killing them, so yeah, just find your next source of relic iron, and literally, that's all you do. So yeah. Also, they don't show up in your inventory, do you not believe? But, literally, nah. So, as you can see, I've got 4 out of 10 materials I need to collect. About a couple more, and I should be done. See, Relica in there has spawned. Not sure if this guy's taken it yet, but I'm going to collect it. And again, just do the same method. So you guys, that is how you farm the relic iron slash relic crystals that you need for your void edge swords. Of course, it is exactly the same for the other swords, but the materials change and the planets change. That's all that matters. So, if you don't know what you what you use to buy your sword with, because the void edge is relic iron only. So basically, <clears throat> the void edge is relic iron. I think either the arc edge or the solar edge is spin metal and another one is spirit bloom i'm not too sure so just literally if you don't know what your material is just literally just google search it search it it's really easy and yeah that's literally how you do material farming just keep doing this and you'll maybe get it <laughs> a big emphasis on maybe because it is really rare and i've been doing this for about half an hour now it's not fun but yeah, I do think these exotic quest bounties are fun, but I honestly do feel like Bungie needs to make it a bit more clear, like farm materials to get these rare material, get these rare materials and stuff like that, because it's a bit, like, the people have to literally find this. I understand there's a cool little, like, sense to, um, surprises there, but it does get annoying if you do not have a clue what the hell to do. 
Like, I, I honestly, I understand that you want to surprise people, but I think you need to describe these exotic quest bounties. Because gather materials and attune your light is not really a good description, is it now? Like, attune your light, what does that mean? Change your light level, get better material, get better stuff, and change, change your light level? It means nothing, so. Yep, and sometimes it will disappear, but as long as you can keep farming it, that's fine. There we go. And collected. Alright, guys, that has been me. I appreciate you watching the video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment below, ask us a few more questions, and I'll just try and describe it in the next video. I know this video was a bit mumble jumble of just me talking and talking and talking, but you can literally do this for any area, just go to a different area, come straight back, and pick up that relic. Iron. That is simply how you do it for the Void Edge sword. And I emphasize Void Edge because don't be doing this for your. Fire Edge, whatever it is, Solar Edge, Arc Edge, whatever it is. Because it will not work. Alright guys, that has been me. I will catch you guys on the next video, which I will be doing on how to get this. Well, how to basically, once you've got past the killing of 50 mages and Crucible, 25 Crucible dudes, I'll be showing you how to kill the main guy you need to get this exotic quest with. So you guys... That has been me. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers for watching and 